Welcome back. Our next guest we are so excited about is an award-winning, gosh, director, producer, screenwriter, and Arthur Antoine Fisher. Antoine, thank you for joining us today. And today we want to talk about Antoine's new book. It's called A Boy Should Know How to Tie a Tie and Other Lessons in Succeeding in Life. Thank you. Antoine, no, you know I have to ask, what is the inspiration behind this book? Well, you know, as I was growing up, there's a lot of things I didn't know that I felt that would uh, have helped me along if I had known. Mm -hmm. And so I decided that if uh, I could put it all in one book and tell some stories of why it's important to learn these little things that may not mean a lot or seem like they mean a lot Like what little alone. things? Like what? I don't know. Like a... Uh, tying a tie? Ba balancing <laughs> checkbook. Yeah. Tying a tie? Tying a tie. Uh, Staying clean? All of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah so if you... Alone, they may not seem like uh, very important, but when you have to, when you put them all together, it seems like they're real important. And they, and, and you know, growing up in a single parent home, or if you're off at college and your father never taught you certain things, you may learn from other students or other people. Like in the Navy, I learned a lot from people mm. who were yeah, around right. me, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought that I should have learned some of those things or knew it before I joined the Navy. Okay. But I, so I thought that. Uh, it could give uh, some young people a head start when they go off to college or enter high school, and not just for boys, for, for girls, girls as also. well, because mm -hmm. they have checkbooks and, <laughs> and ties and all that. Yeah, and they may uh, have a boyfriend who may not know how to tie a tie. You know, Antoine, when we were in the green room, Charlotte was excited to meet you because she had a. We were talking about a, a t issue, so this would be a good time, Charlotte. Well, to yeah, ask I'm, him. I'm just curious about because you know kids today don't seem to have. The kind of respect that for their elders that they used to, and and I'm just wondering, you know, like, how do I mean, what is the mechanism by which the kids are can absorb this, and why are they not picking up on these little um, mm. types of things with regards to well, setting their goals and dressing think, right, and you know, food, you go into health, and all sorts of things in your books. So. I think there was, uh, I think time. Um, you know, there's always a time for the classic things. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think That's that um, uh, parents have had gotten younger, mm -hmm. and then there were uh, there was a time when maybe there was a gap uh, in Between our the, the in age society, of the yeah, right, and right. where a lot of of those classic things, uh, rites of passage, right. were lost, mm -hmm. and maybe in some communities uh, it was poverty and people were distracted by drugs and mm -hmm. whatever and uh, I think that uh, people who do remember and know how important those things are uh, should remind uh, young people in right. their community that uh, boys and girls need to know certain things just to be able to know how to present themselves absolutely mm -hmm. you know when they go and meet people and apply for a job or for college or uh, just in general because uh, it could be just one thing that you learn to do that makes people think, wow, that kid has potential. You know what, Antoine, one of the things that I love about your book is the intro of the book, where you write a letter to yourself. You yeah. write a, as you are now to your younger self. And I just wanted to, to ask you. Why don't you read it? <laughs> well, I don't know if I have time to. <laughs> well, you know, you present this letter, you know, it's a nice Right, letter. I don't know if I have time to Take read all of it, in. but the line Maybe. that I love the most that you say that, <laughs> Um, and it's to Dear Antoine, and it's from Warmly, your future self. And I love to hear what you say, and it goes on to talk about what's going to go. But you, at the end, you say, I'm confident that with this guide, a wonderful life of dreams beyond your dreams come true awaits you. And I, I just really love this. This is, I mean, I love the whole book. I really love how insightful you were about just our future and really educating young people about those basic formulas that don't ever change. Our producer says that all the time. There's some basic formulas that don't ever change. So I wanted to thank you so much for taking pride in doing that in your book. I mean, that was just phenomenal. Well, you know, also as adults, and uh, we do have a responsibility to leave something for young people to help them advance society. If you learn some positive things, some things that uh, uh, someone can use to uh, enhance uh, their community and uh, uplift, you know, people's spirits and give them a sense right. of dignity. You could read some things in there that make make you feel, you know, like wow, I have this as well, and I mm -hmm. I can be proud of myself. I can accomplish this, and 
make this happen. So you reflect on personal yeah. stories? In the book, the yes. Book. yes. He does. Are yes. there other role models besides the Navy that you had when you were growing up? Was there oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, all throughout my life, uh, some of them I didn't like very much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use no names, Antoine, uh, to get us in trouble. You know, as you get older, <laughs> as you, get older you, you, uh, you realize that sometimes people weren't just being hard on you. They were trying to get you to understand that That's right. even if you don't have anything or anybody in this world, you have yourself. Right. And mm -hmm. everybody has value. And sometimes uh, some young people are so distracted by the negative things that go on, they never spend any time looking at themselves. That's right. mm -hmm. They spend most of the time guarding themselves. But we all have value. And even if it's uh, uh, the ability to do a good job and we and that is uh, something that you have to offer, and you can make yourself valuable. So let me ask you this. Let's switch a little bit, because this is our Hollywood celebrity expert here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to come off, Arthur, what do you have, what, what's in the future for, you know, the self Antoine? What, what, what do you have going on that well, our viewing audience can know about? Well, uh, I uh, finished just a, a, a while ago. Uh, Training Day 2, the sequel to Training Day. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Have a, can you give uh, us some insight? You want to know? No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> well, in, in this particular story, uh, <laughs> it's good. Okay, and, we'll uh, take that. <laughs> I have a, a short film uh, that I wrote and directed, and um, let's see, there's some other things that I'm, I'm working on, but. Kind of top secret, huh? Well, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, one of our hosts, she was excited. She saw my, my summer friend. Yeah. And, she, and then she saw your acting debut. Oh, and so God. She's <laughs> you know, acting is for crazy people. Actors are what? Acting is for crazy people? Is that what she said? Not crazy, but you know. That's a great quote. I like that. But you know, you have to uh, pretend. And sometimes people have a long time. Uh, coming out of the <laughs> character that they've been uh, in. Are you still like in character? Yeah. Are you trying to tell <laughs> us you're not. still in character? No, I'm not in character. I mean, uh, you saw, who saw that? She's one of our hosts. She's oh, in the okay. green room right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Antoine. Let's do a clip. Yeah, yeah we're just, you know, no, Antoine. Don't do that. <laughs> it has been a pleasure having you on the show. For our viewing audience, the book is called A Boy Should Know How to Tie a Tie. And other lessons from life we succeeded. Antoine Fisher. Antoine, you are a friend of every way woman. Come back anytime. If you okay. want to know about Antoine or find out about him, you can follow him on AntoineFisher.net. He's on Facebook and he's on Twitter. Antoine, thank you. We're going to take a great break. And actually, when we come back, it's going to be timely because we have our in-house celebrity resident, Michelle. And she's going to bring us the latest on Hollywood. Stay tuned. <laughs> thank you so much, Antoine. All right. Sure.